Billy Bolt, Billy Bolt, Billy Bolt, and Billy Bolt comes through. And Bolt's going to take the lead. Back to winning ways again. Here we go. When I was a kid, I was the super fan who was waiting for the high five or for the photograph to the riders. I was dreaming to be in my position now. What is so special about your technique? I can't tell you that. It's a secret. <laughs> everybody sees the track or everybody sees the, the terrain slightly different and, and comes up with their own way to ride it. The way that I see things and the way I've started to ride is a little bit different to what, what's been done in Super Enduro in the past, but, but I've seen a few of the guys have already started to, to pick up on a few things and, and they're, already, uh, they're already starting to copy a few things. So we need to go back to the test track and, and come up with some more, some more new stuff for next year. Yeah, Johnny's uh, made a lot of improvements. I think uh, he raced the American Championship in the off season and I think uh, that helped him a lot. He started the championship already really aggressive and, and pushing really hard at a very high level. So yeah, he's been the closest competitor. I think there's been some races where I've made some mistakes and, and he's been right there. And, and yeah, what can you say? The one race which, which I didn't win, he was, he was the winner. I think he's going to be more of the same when we come to next year. We're living pretty close together, we're training a lot together and, and we enjoy you know, every, every part of it. I think there's, there's definitely a time when we're, when we're enemies, or when we're not enemies, that's probably a little bit too strong, but when we're rivals on the track and, and racing is what's important, but I think it's also, it's also good to be able to, to have a beer after the race or to go to train together and, and enjoy your time because at the end of the day we're spending so much time together, so it's much nicer to be friends than, than if you hate each other. Do you want to see how to bend the clutch lever? I started the vlog a couple of years ago, uh, actually in COVID times, not, not in lockdown, but just after when there was no racing. We were, were riding a lot, but yeah, not, not racing. So there was not much pressure and we had time to, to figure it out. And, and I had a really good response. Everybody enjoyed it and told me that I need to keep doing it and keep pushing when, we, when I start to race again, which, which is what I've done. And, and now, to be honest, it's just a part of, part of everyday life. It's, I enjoy doing it. It's, it's nice, I think, for people to see the real kind of behind the scenes and, and when it's coming a lot from the rider, you know, I film and edit most of it myself and I think it gives a real personal aspect to it, whereas you see a lot of this kind of stuff, which, uh, yeah, maybe the rider does some talking, but at the end, it's somebody else who's making the whole thing. And, and I think the people and the public can appreciate that it's that's me spending a lot of time doing it and, and it has a real personal feel to it. At the minute it's it's not a priority you know racing is still my priority for now but I think at some point in the future uh, it probably will become a priority so however much it can grow in the background until that point is, is just a bonus. I'm very nervous. What are you gonna say to 11 year old girl? I'm just gonna say hello is that right I'm just gonna get them. No, I'm just gonna freestyle. God it's so nervous! Does the eye of their viewers recognize this design? It's yours, Angel! It's mine! There we go! Oh, that went even better than I was expecting. It's a perfect opportunity for the fans to get involved and I think we had almost uh, 80 submissions of people who designed their, their kit, which is cool. Um, and they're just something a little bit different, I think. Uh, it's not really something that I, that I focus on, it's just kind of what happens. I think it's, it's just the way, the way it is. It's, I have no reason for it to be you know, any other way. I'm happy for the fans to be close to me and it's, it's nice that they, they enjoy what I do and they want to be part of it. Yeah, I think you could say I was a perfectionist, for sure. If it's not perfect, then I'm usually not so happy with myself. When I'm making a vlog, sometimes I make 10 different thumbnails because I can't decide how I want it to be. And, and that's the same when I'm on the track, you know, maybe I had the fastest time in the practice session, but I know I didn't have the best lap or I made, made some mistakes. And, and I think I'm quite critical of myself, but it also, which is at times, maybe it's, it's not so good to be quite so negative or quite frustrated at myself, but I think it also allows you to be the best you can be. And when, when it all goes right and you figure out the areas you made mistakes and you figured out where you're weak and where you can improve, it's, uh, it allows you to be at your best.